Take three. My name's Elizabeth. I'm the owner of the Jacksonville Baby Company based out of Jacksonville, Florida. And it is hurricane season 2018 in full effect. Every year we get calls and emails and text messages from parents asking questions about um, formula preparation, how to keep their babies safe when bottle feeding through a storm, how to um, store their breast milk, how to use the breast milk, how to ensure that they're traveling safely with breast milk, things like that. So I'm gonna make two videos. In the first video, it's gonna be about breastfeeding and exclusively pumping. And in the second video, it's going to be about bottle feeding and formula feeding, things like that. Um, the first thing I want to say that is that if you are in the middle of weaning your baby now and the storm is approaching, I would highly recommend that you hold off on weaning for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is comfort. You're going to provide your baby lots of comfort through this time. Not only comfort for your baby, but comfort for you because if they're not nursing, they're going to need other sources of nutrition through the storm and that's more things that you have to do and you have to figure out if you lose power um, how to prepare those things and get your kid your, your child or your small or your baby to eat that um so i would hold off on weaning um, if at all possible until the storm passes number two um if you are exclusively pumping you probably already have an electric breast pump so if you don't have a car adapter get one you're gonna need it it will be a lifesaver to you. You can pick one up at a local store usually. If you cannot, then I would call before you go to the store and ask for your exact model if they have one that adapts to that. If not and you have time, order through Amazon. You can order one or two day shipping. Get that relatively quickly. If you do not have a hand pump, you should get one just in case something fails with your electric breast pump or um, a number of other things happen you could always use the hand pump if you know how to hand express not using a hand pump but just your hands if you know how to hand express well great and that will probably be enough for you if you need to do that um, if you're good if you're really if you've practiced it and you know the techniques to remove the milk efficiently from the breast but um, I highly suggest having a hand pump anyway for most people that's enough to get you through at least three to five days of a storm um, if you have frozen breast milk in your freezer, the frozen breast milk will be good at least 48 hours in the freezer if you leave it shut. Um, if you keep it shut, the temperature inside there will maintain itself fairly well. Breast milk is very substantial as far as being able to stay safe for a long period. So after 48 hours, if your power has not come back on and you need to go into the freezer, I would check the breast milk. If there is still ice crystals of any kind inside the bag even if very minimal and it's mostly liquid but just a tiny bit of ice crystals you can actually refreeze that if you are not able to refreeze it because the power is still out you don't have access to a freezer that's um, hooked up to power or there are no ice crystals present then you need to use that breast milk within about 24 hours um, in your freezer before the storm hits if you have time to prepare you want to make sure you have no dead space in that freezer meaning no negative space everything filled completely full so any kind of containers jugs um whatever you have around your house that you can freeze water in go ahead and fill those up and put them in the fridge i mean in the freezer so that those freeze before the storm comes and turn your temperature down on your freezer the more things that you have filled the more solidly full your freezer is the longer it will stay cold um, as far as traveling with breast milk, get yourself an insulated cooler. Uh, you want to have ice packs around the insulated cooler and then your breast milk lined up inside there. If you do not have ice packs, you can use your breast milk storage bags to create ice packs and then it really makes short work of like stacking all of those bags in there nice and neatly. Make sure your lid's on tight and that should travel well for at least 12 hours, maybe 12 to 14 hours. If you're traveling any um, any amount of time beyond 12 hours, I would recommend dry ice if you have access to that as the first choice. If you do not have access to dry ice, then you need to make sure you're changing the ice out, dumping the water and ice out and putting fresh ice on top of that. Um, that should get you a good 24 hours of driving. As long as you're not parked in the sun or your vehicle is not closed up in the heat for a long period of time. Again, if ice crystals are present, 
when you get where you're going, you can put that back in the freezer. If it's not, then you need to go ahead and use that within 24 hours. Um, what other things am I thinking about? Um, I've had, okay, I've had clients ask me, is it safe my breast milk um is it share safe to, to is it safe to share my breast milk or is it okay if my neighbor pumps milk for me she has a baby too i don't have any i would absolutely encourage you to um, have a conversation with people that are close to you in distance and in relation uh, about that if you know if a hurricane comes and in the event that I didn't have any breast milk available or we didn't have clean water to prepare formula, how would you feel about um, you know, pumping milk for my baby or breastfeeding my baby for me? Or how would you feel about me doing those things for you? We could have these conversations. We're adults. Um, you know, people are free to say no if they're not comfortable with that. You're free to say no if it's not something you're comfortable with. There's no right or wrong way to birth or parent. We say that all the time at the Jacksonville Baby Company, but it is something to talk about and consider. Um, there are lots of moms out there that um, breast milk share. So uh, we hope that these tips were helpful to you. If you have any other questions or concerns or um, you think of something that you would like an answer to, just drop it in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. We hope that you and your babies stay safe through the hurricane season and give everybody a big hug and kisses from me. Bye guys.